now that we have all our connections on the drivers, uh, let's uh, export this uh, setup to rebuild it with a custom step. So the first thing I want to do is to make a little um, cleanup here. So I'm just gonna go one by one on my uh, blend shape nodes and I'm gonna rename it properly. So that's very important when you start to having a lot of blend shapes uh, nodes to keep everything clean and easy to understand what we have here. So just renaming using the um, menu from blend sh uh, from shapes. So this is gonna be shirt uh, or lowercase shirt. I did the pants and now I'm just gonna do the uh, arms. So I'm just gonna go here and rename that thing. So it is very important. Just keep everything neat and clean. Okay, now that I have this, uh, before exporting the blend shape, do you remember we did an addition on the uh, shared? So I'm just going to export the shared uh, again. In order to do that, um, I can just export the uh, skin from export the skin, but because I don't want to type or I don't want to search in a long list, uh, especially, well, now it's only one, but if let's say we have two, two elements that we, we export in a skin pack that have hundreds of them, and um, it may be difficult to export one by one and um, searching for the right names and everything. So I'm gonna export again the skin pack, but this time on my skin, I have my temporal skin pack that basically what it does is override the, the G skin pack that's a JSON file. But the the G skin it's gonna be override on the original one. So basically if we say here, so I save it this one and it saved it my arms and uh, shirt here. But it keep the other ones as the same. So indeed, uh, I'm not gonna export this one. I'm gonna export this that points to all the G skins. It's a little trick here that uh, helps to, um, yeah, have everything uh, quicker. Okay, so that's the first thing. So I clean up this. Just save a version. Okay, so it looks like I have previous version there. Don't worry. Okay. Um, Next thing is uh, I'm going to create a proper folder for that. So I'm just going to go here and create a folder called shapes on my data. That's uh, the build uh, folder, the data folder. Remember, we have uh, assets, data, and we have scripts. So this is going to be on data. Uh, you can organize this as you wish. Honestly, this is not mandatory, but it's the way I do it. And now that I have this, uh, I need to export the um, configuration. So um, Shapes uh, offers uh, really nice uh, tools to export the configuration. We can use the, the to export the, the deltas, but this it doesn't export the um, like the configuration with the connections of the drivers and so on. So I'm gonna use the export node data. And this by default it's coming unchecked, but I'm gonna check this. And you can see here, I have already uh, my folder prepared. Uh, if it's not by default, just look around on your hard drive. And then I'm just gonna use my pants plain shape. That is the, the ones that I save here. So just save this one and export. Now select my shirt, load, and export the node. So here is shirt and it's the previous folder and load and export. You cannot do all at the same time. You need to load it first on the interface and then export it. That's very important. You cannot select whatever you want, like in the objects wise and export from there. Okay, so I have this and the next thing I have to do is um, add here the custom steps that will import my, um, my shapes configuration. So I'm just gonna create a new custom step you go to scripts, post, and just put something meaningful like import uh, shapes. That I think everybody will know what is this thing. And let's edit this. So what I need, okay. Um, let me check here my shapes. So basically here in this folder, every time we export, it exports three files. So it generates three files. And we are interested on the one that it's a mail file. This one is the one that we will use to um, 
regenerate everything and it's it has a an absolute import so this is the folder and somewhere else here you has to import this and import there and it does all his magic to connecting everything and leaving everything as was at the beginning so basically we want to export the mail i'm just gonna copy paste this one file here so i'm just to, to avoid typing too much and now here um first uh, Okay, from Maya, import mail. And now I'm just gonna do mail, eval. And um, the, the command is source. Uh, no. Mm, double quotes, and yep, there it was. So, source my file, that is this one and semicolon to finish the command and it's not the uh, arm blade shape we say we want the mail so i'm just gonna copy paste this and paste it there um like this and just um duplicate so import the pants and import the shirt and save this that should be all so um as you can see i'm importing like a like the uh, full path hard-coded thing there's ways to import relative to the folders and so on that you need to consider also this this path here when you change this you need to edit the mail and you need to 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 handle this uh, relatively uh, for the moment uh, for this video to make it shorter i'm just gonna use the like the hard-coded version but you can check at your home with uh, your uh, hard drives um, if you can make it relative okay uh, so that's it and that's it I can delete now this and save another version yes or right whatever I think I did some tests before and it's complaining I overwrite everything and let's build and i know it's maybe not gonna work yeah exactly because we don't have this parameter what what's this okay so basically i'm keeping developing uh, m gear while i'm recording this workshop so i have a new version with new options and my guide is not updated a big deal by the way this menu if you load again it's gonna refresh so i just select my guide go to shifter update guide uh, it's gonna check in the guide and update it um, if you check the log after finish it's still processing the guide okay so you can see here that is the guide is now updated and just save another version so my guide is there of course if it's there and now i'm just gonna build again and hopefully this time will work everything and that's it, it's creating the objects it takes a few seconds nice okay so we have an issue here hmm what is this uh arms blade shape Ooh. do i have a typo arms uh -uh -uh. oh no three three five hmm So it basically is complaining about here when this says the add combo blah blah blah. Mm. Hmm. 
That is strange. 335. Huh? Apparently this, if I'm not mistaken, this is the line that is complaining, which I can stop the build here. Sorry for that. Why you complain? It uh, should be okay. Let me check one thing. Mm. Porsche is twenty four. Uh, my shape it's um. Hmm. Okay, so we have an issue here. The arms that it's the arms let's check. Okay, whatever. He says cannot connect this thing. I don't understand. Just delete. Hmm. There's blank shapes too here. From where is coming this blank shapes too? Okay, maybe I have some garbage on the on the scene. Just a second, and just want to debug this quickly. So because this line shape too should not be here. So I'm just gonna delete this and one more time. So I'm just deleting this. Okay now there is no blank shape. And let me check what I have here. Ooh. So that's good. Um so we don't have anything as a blank shape anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this. And sometimes it gets garbage collected when we try to reveal many times and you delete and go back and forward and yeah, so what I usually do is uh, if I have uh, to clean up the scene, um, it's just uh, export my selection that is the guide itself. So we are gonna export here. Just gonna overwrite this one. Yeah. And reopen again the last one. So now you can see it's a bit cleaner. Leftovers are gone. And in the future, MGear is gonna serialize also the guide, so we should not have this issue anymore. But uh, yeah, for the moment, um, yeah, this is something that may happen from time to time. Okay, so let's try to build this time. And hopefully, it's not gonna um, error out. If not, maybe I, I did export wrong, and um, maybe the when I exported, the arm already had this uh, blank shape too somewhere, and it's conflicting. So I will double check. Oh, look at that. It's now building everything without no problem. So my guess about the bad exporting was incorrect, and was the problem that the scene uh, was collecting so much garbage, and that's something that Maya does over time when we just delete and create and rebuild and so on so but yeah now it's uh, working and the only thing I forgot w before I export uh, the um, the shapes it's to hide all the weights no notes uh, drivers thing so it doesn't show up on the uh, OpenGL uh, it's something I recommend to do before exporting I will f address this in future videos but yeah for the moment this is building finally we had our blank shapes rebuilding and yeah everything looks like uh, works as expected and this is one of the biggest uh, advantages that we have in shapes is that it exports all the configuration really nicely and you can reimport it anytime and also let's uh, in the future if we want uh, we just need to rebuild the this blank shapes itself but we can re reuse the configuration from another character to get the same triggers and so on. So if you're working on TV series with many bipeds and all the bipeds have shared the same common structure, you can just reuse parts and rebuild just the corrective blank shapes. Uh, yeah, here it's um, yeah, everything is um, 
it's working and yeah we have our finger wrist everything reveal okay great so i think that's enough for this video it's not, not 50 minutes not too long and see you in the next one bye bye